We're at the sidelines of the Airline Economics Conference 2015 in Dublin, Ireland. And I'm speaking with Mr. Bill Frankie, who is the managing partner of Indigo. Mr. Frankie, yesterday at the keynote, you gave a very interesting address at how airlines should not be seduced by a current low oil price. Could you give us some thoughts on that? Well, I mean, uh, management of, of any company, whether it's an airline or any industrial company for that matter, uh, tends to be focused on the short term. It's a, it's a problem industry has in a large part. And in the case of, uh, of uh, oil, airlines are so uh, sensitive to the price of oil that they make short-term decisions based upon the current price of oil. And I see that happening, beginning to happen today in the industry where aircraft that in the normal course should go on the ground because of age uh, or fuel inefficiency are now being retained in the fleet uh, as a reflection of the lower oil price. And you also are beginning to see some return to regional flying by some of the legacy airlines who had, uh, over the course of the last five years, in the face of higher oil prices, determined they couldn't fly these markets profitably. We're now rethinking that view and beginning to return to those smaller, less efficient markets. Those decisions will be uh, will come back to haunt the management teams uh, when oil price stabilizes at a, a kind of a natural level, which is not $45 a barrel. So it's interesting you, you, the way you describe this. If you if you're running an airline as you do, mm -hmm. you're saying don't hold back on your next generation orders that that you put in. Get them as fast as you can, or do you say push them back and enjoy the windfall a little longer? Yeah, I think I think you have to enjoy the windfall while you can. That said, the order book of most of the manufacturers, whether it's Boeing or, or Airbus, taking those two, the order books are so full today that you have to be thoughtful about giving up on any position in those order books because it might be years before you can recover your, your delivery schedule. So I think you take advantage of the oil price as best you can, but if I had the option, I would not defer deliveries of NEOs or MAX aircraft that I had ordered simply on the basis of uh, fuel price. Because most of those deliveries are coming in the late teens. Uh, if you think about the NEO, the first deliveries are in the 16, 17 time frame, and the MAX and even in that same up to the up to 2020. And so it would be, a, I think it would be, a, you'd have to be very thoughtful about giving up delivery positions based upon today's oil price. Uh, when those deliveries were out three or four years from now. Last quick question. How long do you think we go like this at the current oil prices, the, the softness in the price? It, you know, anybody's guess. Uh, my own view is that the reason oil is uh, people talk about overproduction, uh, underconsumption, but I think the Chinese economy uh, and to some extent the, the uh, slowness in the European economy are major factors. And as those economies recover, I think you'll see a return to a... Uh, a more traditional price of oil in the $80, $90 barrel range. Thank you.